Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players. This is Andy Tashordo, and today I'm going to be talking about ships. Just because of the post in the April 2021 Road Ahead blog that there's going to be shiploads of content, is what uh, C, uh, CGSB Crumb said in his post, which means we could potentially be getting more ships this year. We might get a month where we get a bunch of ships added in, and it may shake up the meta. Yeah, we may get some Galactic Republic ships. But we also might get some Separatist ships. We might get some First Order and Resistance ships. Rebel and Imperial. So who knows? Maybe another Bounty Hunter ship. Who knows? But I want to talk about some characters that deserve to have ships. And I'll go in depth with them. This this uh, video is going to be part one of two. Because um, obviously I could do, always do another bunch of other videos with ships. And I know ships isn't that popular of a topic because it's... It's not there, it, or it, they're, they're just not there. they slowly getting better. Like, we recently had Mando's, um, oh man, I totally went blank. I gotta cheat, I gotta cheat, I gotta cheat, sorry. Razorcrest, my goodness, I don't know why it was slipping my mind. <laughs> man, anyways, the Razorcrest come to Galaxy of Heroes, and at five stars, it's starting to possibly make some waves. Um, Arnold T was able to auto a with the with the endurance Mace Windu ship against a negotiator ship. It, it's probably not a guaranteed hundred percent work all the time, but it's getting there, and that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So but I'm going to talk about some possible characters that could get ships in the game, and that deserve to have ships. Now, first, I am going to talk about the Twilight. It's the G9 Rigger class light freighter. It was used by General Skywalker, somewhat General... Well, General Kenobi ruined it when he started flying it. Um, <laughs> I think Walls well, also thinks the Mandalorian, so it's kind of, you know, a, both their faults. But uh, yeah, I know, I'm taking... I'm blaming it on the high ground master. I better be careful, he has the high ground. <laughs> but um, the Twilight uh, came to star wars the clone wars in the first movie and it gave anakin a ship to work with throughout the clone wars not all the time but most of the time aside from his starfighter he had at least another ship to work with it was a cool little cargo ship it had a hangar in the back for small small starfighters like the jedi starfighter so it worked out in in that regard um, and the characters I could see possibly piloting it is general skywalker so yes this would be probably a legendary type ship I could get the legendary, you know, yeah, a legendary, uh, what's it called, a legendary event for it, and you would need, like, Separatists and Dooku, or Dooku ship to get it, uh, whenever they bring Dooku's out, um, spoilers for part two of the dark side, but, you got General Skywalker, um, you got R2-D2, and you got Ahsoka Tano, yes, this Ahsoka Tano has the Starfighter, we do have a Commander Tano coming out, but, however, I can see them bringing in a marquee character called Ahsoka Tano, or Padawan Ahsoka Tano, Season 1 Ahsoka Tano, and pair that up with General Skywalker. And so you have a legendary, a journey, and a marquee character <laughs> for one ship. So it would have to definitely be a very phenomenal ship uh, to work. It could be a tank, it could not be, I don't know, it would work really well. I could see this ship more so lean towards supporting the cargo ship side of things than the... Um, galactic republic because we already have a, a phenomenal you know fleet and granted i'd hope that we actually do get you know multiple ships for you know multiple other factions so that you know if this came into the game it's not going to like break anything so you can actually run like cargo ships slash bounty hunter ships with like uh, uh thrawn or tarkin and uh, an endurance with mace windu and actually you know possibly have a decent team there so, yeah, that's where I would uh, go with that one. Um, we also have the H-Type Nubian Yacht, where we compare 3PO and Padme with. This is the Episode 2 yacht that takes her to Tatooine. Ta well, it takes her, Anakin, 3PR to, to Tatooine, and then to Geonosis. So, yes, this would actually make sense to have this ship paired with these two. I don't see, um, aside from, like, even going back to R2-D2, I don't see R2-D2 paired up with any of the the X-Wings and the Jedi Starfighters because, yeah, I, I just don't see it. He would be, like, strip... He'd be split every ship. There'd be, like, ship around at each corner of, um... of his little box here. 
he'd have a ship at the bottom and just all around. And so, yeah, I don't see that happening. So that's why I've paired R2-D2 with the Twilight and then the H-Type Nubian yacht uh, had 3PO because I don't see 3PO going with any Millennium Falcon. We already have so many pairings for Millennium Falcon. The only other ship I can see him working with is Padme's uh, yacht there. So to me, that makes sense. Next, um, we got the Bad Batch. We have the Havoc Marauder. It's the Omnicron class attack shuttle. Yes, I am reading while I record this. Um, and we, I can see the first three up there. Not Echo because he was joined later. Um, you know, spoilers. We know what happened to uh, Crosshair being, you know, the stupid chip inside their heads. We need to take their chips out of their heads. <laughs> They're messing up my boy, my, my clone troopers, man. Yeah. But anyways, um, Bad Batch's shuttle. I can see that coming into the game. Another cargo ship. Um, actually, thanks to uh, Bad Batch TV series, I can see it also leaning towards, because they're on the run, a scoundrel ship. I could see it a scoundrel ship. Yes, it'd be a clone trooper ship, a Galactic Republic ship. Yeah, yeah. But it would also be a scoundrel ship I, that's just what i would pair it with i don't see why it wouldn't hurt to do that um next we also have bo katan and her um mandalorian gauntlet fighter or the common rock class fighter uh just to be more specific there i definitely remember that one so i didn't have to look that one up <laughs> but yeah you know i know these are all newer characters these five but they have a potential they have a potential to actually making it uh making that as a team a possible team to work with um, next, now this one's, this one is a little tricky, I will admit, bear with me, Luke Skywalker's Red 5 X-Wing, I personally would rather see a new Luke Skywalker come to the game, a marquee level, uh, one that would actually pair with like Wedge and Biggs, and you know, you'd have Wedge the main lead, but you have, you know, that Luke Skywalker come in. I don't know if they plan on doing another Luke Skywalker because they already have a Galactic Legend. They have a two Journey characters and then Farm Boy, whatever, he, marquee level, I guess you could say. But why not? And if they don't want to do that, at least give CLS the um, Red 5 X-Wing. Wouldn't hurt. Um, I don't see where that would go wrong, where you'd go wrong with adding that X-Wing. And I'm doing this same set up to Ray Jedi training. Granted, yes, the Galactic Legend Ray would technically make more sense um, lore-wise to getting the X-Wing where she has to travel to Exegol. But, you know, for... To make things easier, I feel like, you know, just, you know, you could potentially give, like, I don't see why they can't do that, but... Or why they wouldn't do that, but give Jedi training Ray possibly the... Uh, Red 5 X-Wing, you know, maybe have some similar abilities, but then do some other things too. So that would boost the Resistance and the Rebel factions, potentially, as well as the Jedi faction. Huh. Um, but that's just some thoughts on that one. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to just quickly touch on this. Aside from Grandmaster Yoda having his own unique, special, modified uh, Jedi Starfighter, each of these Jedi do deserve to have their Starfighters in the game. I don't know why they don't. We can have like a Jedi faction, you know, team going, flying around. Yes, it would, again, a lot of these characters would boost the Galactic Republic, but it would also give you a second one with Mace Windu, especially since they've added, you know, two defensive ship teams. And so you need like two to four offensive ship teams to take those on. So, you know, we got, you know, Jedi, like maybe they can update Mace Windu a little bit, tweak a little bit, and just give more bonuses to Jedi, where, um... General Kenobi is mostly Galactic Republic. You know, Mace Windu is more Jedi based. So you know, we got four of those. They have they pretty much have their own starfighters. Um, and then this one's interesting. You're like, well, well, Bodhi Rook. What is wrong with you? Yes, I can see Bodhi Rook paired with Bazin Chariot to pilot the uh, Zeta class Imperial shuttle, the one they land on Scarif with. Why not? Why would that be a bad thing to add that in? Granted, I wouldn't mind seeing an Imperial version as well to kind of, you know, that ship is a stolen Imperial ship. So why not have the Imperial version as well? Um, like I, you know, mentioned our, our before, Bo-Katan and yeah. Um, and I wouldn't mind seeing like for Separatists getting an Umbaran Starfighter. <clears throat> Excuse me, I know another topic for another time, but come on. 
This would actually give Bodie Rook a reason to be geared up. Granted, yes, he still needs a rework and a touch-up. Duh. That's an obvious. Capital Games just made it clear that they don't like doing reworks that much unless it's iconic characters like Darth Vader. They'll just be like, here, have a new ability, touch up the unique, and boom, he becomes galactic level fighting power level, essentially. So, but aside from that, that's just a cool idea to have. And, and the reason why I'm doing this is, imagine this, Rogue One and Phoenix, and then you can bring in, you can have a, a legendary event for Admiral Radis and the Profundity. And the Admiral Radis and Profundity would actually focus more on supporting uh, Phoenix and um, Rogue One. How would that be a bad thing? You're giving another Rogue One uh, ship into the game. So it wouldn't hurt. I don't see where that would hurt. Next, this one is kind of another one. Except I... So young... Vandor Chewy and young Han. <clears throat> excuse me. Throat's dry. Um, I personally would see these two uh, not be the pilot. And they'd have to bring in like... Um, oh man, I can't forget. The forearm guy from Rogue One. Beckett. You know, that crew to pilot the... Uh, the Y-45 armored transport hauler that they use in um, Solo. So, you know, and if they don't do those characters, they can at least bring the ship in and pair it with Young Han and Chewie. Why not? Wouldn't hurt. Now, this is the big one. I don't know why Land they, they could do this. I know we don't see him have the ship game, but he has had it throughout Legends, at least. We've seen it, the ship in canon, thanks to Hondo Onaka, as well as, oh, what's the... Oh, that as Morgan from Rebels, and it's the well, his is the lady look, and it's the Soren Sub Personal Luxury Yacht 3000. How cool it would be to have Lando Calrissian have his iconic Legends ship. He had to replace the Falcon sometime, so this is the ship he could be using, he could be piloting this ship. And it ba is based on Legends, and if they need to like eventually add some lore to it, you know, they could say, Hey, it's Legends just to give another ship. Another scoundrel ship, really, rebel if they want. Um, and then these are, you know, two ships I don't see happening because they're not really space ships, starfighters. They're air ships, you know, you know, speeders of the land. And that is the snow speeder uh, from Hoth. That is a more land based, land to air based kind of vehicle. And then you got Farm Boy's T 16 Skyhopper. So these two ships are like less likely, but then again, again, Palpatine is piloting his his own shuttle. Not that he doesn't know how. I don't. He's like eighty something years old. I wouldn't have been surprised. He learned how to pilot at one point in time. He could have piloted as Darth Sidious. He could have piloted that ship to uh, Mandalore when he went fought Savage Maul. So, but that's my thoughts on these two uh, these characters and what ships. You know, did I miss any ships uh, paired with any characters? Um, and again, I. I do want to mention, yes, I feel like they should still keep doing the pilotless ships, but hopefully they, they bring in some of these more iconic ships for these specific characters. Pair well with, you know, these kind of things. These characters, these ships. They, we need more ships, period. Um, granted, yes, a lot of this would be Galactic Republic-based, but we'd also be adding maybe possibly a new Rogue One faction. You know, we got scoundrels here and there. Got some rebels, maybe a resistance or two. So, but again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really appreciate all those that watch the videos I make, and you guys have a phenomenal day.